<laughs> Jay put here for another review. This is the long awaited, long overdue Power Master Prime um, comparison uh, thing. Um, I really can't exactly see him very well at the moment because of the, the way I've got the camera set up and the fact that the length of uh, this person that we're going to now. Now what this guy is, is he is a Hasbro commemorative edition um, may or may not be Toys Us exclusive, I don't know about that Power Master Prime however it's not the Power Master Prime, the original G1 Power Master Prime mould it is the Takara Genrai mould which as I will go into there are some differences but you know there's been a lot when I, I've said about I was going to do this review there's been um, bits and pieces said about who he is and that he's not a power master prime he's generally well you you know it's not you're not right you're not you're not wrong either it's the general mold but this is the one that's been sold and manufactured by Hasbro as a, a reissue we'll, we will see how it goes for now I'm going to take this part off which is in either edition is still referred to as God Bomber now in a minute you should see a picture of this guy in his box And now you should see a picture of the uh, Japanese version of it, of it in its box, the Gemini version. This is the gift set because if I take this bit off for now, you'll probably just see a picture of the gift box now. Actually, in Japan, that bit, God Bomber, was sold separately, and there were a couple of versions of it, um, and I can't remember why, I have found out why there is two versions of it, and um, it's only sort of stupid detail bits, and this is the more detailed version, in actual fact. If I can find some pictures of him in his you know, individual box, I'll put them up probably at the end of the review. Now, if I get him out of the way, put oh. now it's getting this all in shock, which is a complete bastard. That's fine. Now you can see some colour differences in the, the normal truck mode between the G1 Power Master and the Takara Power Master, the reissue Power Master. Um, if I just work on, if I take it, him off for the moment, if I take the two primes off for the moment, just so I can get them into picture and just show you the the trailers. The main difference is, I know mine's a bit discoloured. bastard. Um. In fact, if I just this camera's going to be a bitch. Sorry about this. Ooh. It's just that with these two, it's not easy to get it in picture so you can see. For some reason, I've got a loose gun bit in mind. But there are colour 
differences. The G1 is um, a palegram, and mine's got a bit of it's got a bit of a sun damage, I suppose you'd call it. Well, it's faded a bit, a bit of fading, but it's not too bad. So it's basically that version is a darker grey. Um, other than that, they've both got plastic wheels. That's sort of the, the main thing with the, the trailer modes. If I go onto the two primes, now for this I'm going to change the camera around, so bear with me. There's quite a few differences with this with these two. Mainly with the Takara version, um is a lot more well, it's die cast, whereas that one's all plastic. If you can see um front part here is plastic but also that's clear blue plastic whereas that one's got stickers um, mine's in quite good condition really and the whole idea of doing this was seeing um, bike trash wolves comparison video that's basically the reason I bought that one because I, I thought they were identical um, but they're they're not. Um, the other thing with this one is a lot more detailed plastic in the the bit where the power master goes. It's actually reflective plastic, which is good. Uh, the bumper on the original G1, uh, it's painted on chrome, and there's two red bits. Well, they should have been chrome, whereas they're not. This is chrome plastic which is a lot better and I think it's a slightly different red and of course you've got the thing with the the smoke stacks I don't know why I think cause it, there's not a lot of difference in size this one's more detailed because um, they've got little bumps in there but why they cut them down because you're not going to do any damage with them that size I'm sorry you're just being fucking stupid now to transform them. Now with my G11, the the mechanism that actually stops that from opening, where you're supposed to put high Q or whatever he's called. No, it is high Q. I'm being stupid. I'm getting mixed up with the uh, Master Force dub, which we won't go into. You're actually supposed to have him in there to transform. There's another way of getting around him. If I just transform him without his power master, and I'll show you the power master in a minute, like that, and that's down ish. Now, with this one, that's locked, but there is a way of doing it. I'll show you as best I can. If you push that, if you push the bit in where that's supposed to go, and Push that in, which is yeah. Basically, if you push it in, you can transform without having the robot in there. You know, if you want to. Why the fucking hell? Ooh. Key thing again, um, slightly pale plastic on the uh, well, it's actually quite a similar club, but I think it's slightly brighter on the, the reissue one. Key thing with this one is that the chest, uh, more reflective stickers where mine are darker and they're where the screws are for some reason I've lost the stickers on there um, I don't know if that's how they were or whether um, it's probably how they were because I don't remember how to take them apart for any reason um, difference in the head is actually that one's got blue eyes that one's got red eyes 
I don't know if that shows up if I do that I'm just about to see that they're blue and that they're red same sort of articulation which is fuck all um, other than the arms the elbow joints um, mid legs uh, the upper legs even have been painted silver on the reissue which is good it makes it actually look more like prime whereas that one hasn't it's all blue and this one's got stickers on I don't know if this came with any stickers mine's got a couple of stickers on the, the back but whether they've not been put on I don't know um, right on to the power master things 